between Jacob, the generation of Jacob, and generation of Esau. Remember, we share this thing when we started nine weeks ago. But for the benefit of people who have not been part of it from the beginning, just want to share with us. So Jacob was a child of destiny. Was that child that God said in Genesis 25, when the mother was pregnant with the two of them, to say, be a leader, that his brother will serve him. And Jacob, after the children of Jacob, after the, uh, the crossing the Red Sea, on their way back to the, to the promised land, the children of Esau, who are his brother, they, they, they make sure when they are on their way, they try to make their way, stop them the way up, make things difficult for them. And in the process, God noted this. And the children of Jacob, they got to the promised land. Get into the promised land, they God settled them, God established them. But by the time he got to the gener generation of the reign of King Solomon, he, he, he turned his heart, his heart to idols. He started serving idols. All of a sudden, the children of Israel, who are the Edomites, now begin to mock them that this is good. We, are, we will see what we have for you. Eventually, the story of children of Israel was one that the Babylon captured the land of Israel for 70 years. And by the reason of this thing, the children of Israel were, were in bondage for 70 years. And the generation of children of Esau, who are, who are still bitter about the fact that the, the children of Jacob took their father's blessing, they were just not happy. And they were just trying to make life difficult. And say, okay, mocking them. Say, we have seen. We'll see how we get it. But prophet Obadiah prophesied, which literally came to pass, that the fact that the children of Israel were, were punished does not mean God has forgotten them. And that's why they were, because when they went to Babylon, things were taken away from them. Possession was taken from them. They have, every of that thing was stolen away. To the extent that even the altar of God was taken away, even to Babylon. But Prophet Bela prophesied, and eventually it came to pass, that the children of Israel were restored back. And the children of Esau, who they are Edomite, they are nobody in this street today. So, now, this, what is the relation between this story and what we have now? The relation between this story and what we have now, the children of Israel committed sin. And that's why they lost some property. They lost some of their things because God punished them. What we are going through today by COVID-19 that has put the whole world down is because of the sins of the world. Second Chronicles, Second Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14. Second Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14. He said, if my people are called my name, shall, shall call upon me and forgive, forsake their sin. And he said, they will heal their land. That was what God said. But to the glory of God, now, the God has seen us, and many of us have been crying, believers all over the world, and God is hearing our prayer, and that God has had our prayer. And now that this word of knowledge came, this word came that there will be possession. Even though we have lost so many things COVID 19, it is time to possess. It is time to possess. I speak to somebody, everything you have lost by the end of this COVID 19, there shall be a possession for you. You will repossess back, you will recover back. In the name of Jesus! We started by saying there's a deliverance of the head, there's a deliverance of the arm, there's a deliverance of the of, of the legs. Today, we're talking about possessing your possession. And I'm sure many people are asking questions. Pastor, you are talking about possessing your possession. How will I possess it? Looking at economies in Shamu, global economy, look at the story. And that is why the Lord said we talk about power of productive thinking or deliverance of your mind. Power of productive thinking. Or deliverance of your mind. Romans chapter 12. Romans chapter 12. I read verse 1 to 2. Romans chapter 12, verse 1. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is a reasonable service. It said, Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the new of your mind. Be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind, but that you may be able to prove what is good and acceptable, the will, and acceptable and perfect will of God. He said, Be conformed, be not be conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. The word of God has come forth that you are going to possess your possession. This scripture is saying, Do not be conformed with the economic indicators. Do not be conformed with the CNN news. Do not be conformed with the bad news that all are gloomy. He said, be ye renewed by the word of God. Be renewed your mind with the word of God. Fill your mind. 
fill your heart with the word of God. He said you'll be able to prove what is good, what is acceptable, and perfect with your God. Brethren, the word of God can come from you, from your possession. Your head can receive the blessing. You know, in your head, there are so many things in your head. There's eyes, there's ears, there's nose, there's a brain in your head. Your head physically can receive the blessing. But your mind can refuse to agree with the blessing. Your, your head can receive the blessing. Your hands ready to go and take it. Your legs ready to go there. But your mind can say, is this possible? Can this really happen? And the moment that happened, the Bible called the mind has become a stronghold. When your mind begins to rationalize, begin to reason whether the word of God can actually come to pass, then at that time, that mind becomes a stronghold. And the Bible says in 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. 2 Corinthians, he said, it's 2 Corinthians chapter 4. If I start with the he said, For though we walk in flesh, we do not walk after flesh. He said, The weapon of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of the strongholds, casting down imaginations. And every high thing that is exalted is again the knowledge of God, bringing to captivity every thought the obedience of Christ. Many people have had this word of knowledge, the word of prophecy that you will possess your possession. But they are trying to rationalize it in their brain. How will it happen? It does not follow what the economy is talking about. At that point, the brain, the mind, the mind has become a stronghold, standing against the possession. And that brain, that mind needs a deliverance. The moment the mind begins to rationalize, how will this word of God be, 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 be fulfilled? The moment the, the brain, be, the head, mind begins to say, can this really be possible in this situation? The moment the mind begins to say, don't deceive yourself. This pastor is not deceiving you. That mind has become a stronghold. And when there's a stronghold, the thing is, when there's a stronghold, it's time again the manifestation. When the mind begins to be a strong it stops, it, it begins an entrance to the manifestation. The mind is what makes you not to believe the word of God. The mind is what makes you to doubt the word of God. The mind is what makes you to say the, the word of God is not true, it's just a fiction. The mind is what that tells you what is talking. This word of God they are talking about is just a literature. It happened some centuries ago, it cannot happen now. That's what the mind says. And when there's a problem with the mind, many people have received blessing. They have received miracle in the spiritual. It's been released to them. But the mind received to refuse to receive it. The mind received to refuse, refuse to receive it. The mind refused to receive it. When God told Jonah, in Jonah chapter 1, go to Nineveh, the mind of Jonah says, What are you? Why should I go to Jonathan? Jonah, Nineveh. He said, mind of Jonah said, Jonah said, why should I go to Nineveh? Those sinful people, those people that have committed atrocity, they don't deserve it. That is the mind of Jonah. But brethren, the reason why we want to pray very well this evening on the brain, on the mind, is it? I'm sorry I'm missing the thought. Now, brethren, let me tell you. You see, when we talk about mind, what are we talking about? When we talk about mind, what are we talking about? Your mind is not your heart. Your mind is not your heart. Your heart receives love, receives feeling. Your heart where feeling, love, emotion comes in. Is your heart that praise God? Is your heart that give gratitude to God? It is your heart that I celebrate God. It is not your mind. Your mind is that part of your brain that is related to thinking, reasoning, rationalizing. Unfortunately, there's a relationship between your mind and your heart. When Jonah had God, it was his mind, it was his mind, it was his brain that said, no, believe people don't deserve to serve God. And he sent an information immediately to the heart. 
and the earth will receive it. And he went ahead and did. There are many people that the blessing have they been released to them, but their heart, their mind is not able to receive it. And the mind is passing to their heart. No. Their mind is sent to their heart. No. So such heart need deliverance. That heart need to be set free. Now it is, brethren, let me tell you, it is in your heart, it is in your mind that thinking occurs. It is that part of your brain that you think a lot. It is that part that you have memories. It is that part, a lot of things, reasoning, logic comes into place. And once the brain, the, that mind begins to talk, send an information to the app that this is not possible. It's not going to be possible. And what the devil is looking for is to hear the word is not possible. And he will stop it. And that will not be your portion in Jesus' name. Brother, let me quickly tell you few things about the mind. In the scripture we read here in verse 2, he said, Be not be conformed to this world. When you hear CNN news, it is the brain that picks it, the mind picks it. When you hear bad news, it is the, the head, it is the mind that picks it. When you hear good, it is the mind that picks it. The part of the brain. It pick it. And when it pick it, it store it in the memory. Mind or your brain record past experiences as a fact of life, but not the truth. Your brain record past experiences as the facts, but not the truth. So the brain we have here is limited. He cannot conceive what the man God is talking about. Your mind is doesn't talk in present. It's only talking about events at the moment, based on the knowledge of the past. Your brain, your mind, always talking of events now, based on the past. And that is not God. That's not how God talks. It is in your brain that your brain is the one that's judgmental. Your brain is the one that judges people. It's your brain that we fear and we send in, in, in the same information to the heart and the heart will have high blood pressure. It is your brain that will be afraid that send information to the heart. It is your brain that will have a mind that is worried that will send an information to the heart. It is your brain that will be anxious and send an information to the heart. Brethren, the danger of the brain is thinking. Not meditating. The, and that's what the Bible says in Proverbs 24, in Proverbs chapter 4, in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. In Proverbs, he said, Guide your acts. Guide your acts with due, he said, Guide your acts with all diligence. Because why? Out of your heart, those issues of life. Guide your heart with all diligence. Because out of it, issues of life. It is not the ass that gets this issue of life. It is the brain that has it. And send that information to the ass. So, so we need to be careful. The word of God says, so we want to pray. Before we pray, we need to understand. It is the ass that think evil. The Bible says in Jeremiah 29, 11. He said, I know the thought I think towards you. They are thought of peace, not cause of evil to give an expected end. It is the brain that take evil and pass it to the heart. Isaiah chapter 55. Isaiah 55, verse 8 to 11. Isaiah chapter 55. The word of God said, God said, our thought process is not the same thing as his own thought process. He says, as far as evil is far from the heart, that's the way our thought is far from his thoughts. He said, but when he sent his word, his word must fulfill the purpose he sent to that word. So when you begin to rationalize the word of God and that is going to happen, you are creating a blockage for the manifestation. Every time you begin to rationalize the word of God on how it's going to happen, you are creating a blockage for, your, for the manifestation. And such kind of thought is not a productive thought. Such kind of thought, to be productive means to, to be fruitful productive thinking and what God wants me to think I think upon the word of God I will meditate upon the word of God the word of God will work for me the word of God will work in me the word of God will deliver it all for me in the name of Jesus brethren when you begin to think brethren 
on how things will be done. When you begin to think, how would God make this world to be performed? It's not a productive thought process. When you begin to think of failure, when you begin to think of the past, such thought only destabilizes people. When somebody is fearful, it only takes away energy. That's not a productive thought. When somebody begins to think that with this coronavirus, that means the business or the career is gone, or you cannot have a life again. That's not a productive thought. Even when God has, even when God has with blessing to somebody, this the fact that your thought is not aligning with the word of God, the thought is not aligning with the word of God, it becomes a problem. And the miracle cannot come. The blessing cannot come. And that's why I want you to cry to God again. I want to talk to you, talk to you and say, Father, I commit my head unto you. Every thinking of this brain, thinking about how God will do it, today, I say, in the name of this one, come to an end. You will not use my head, you my brain, you will not think about how the word of God will perform. You just want the manifestation. Father, from today, my father, my father, my savior, my savior, from today, we are not going to be thinking how the word of God will come to pass. We will only think the manifestation and the performance of the word of God. In the name of Jesus. Brethren, I am not talking story. Give you an example. In 2 Kings chapter 7, we are talking possessing your possession by productive thinking. When you meditate upon the word of God, when you think upon the word of God for a blessing, for your possession, you will get it. In 2 Kings chapter 7, verse 1, Prophet Elisha told the people in Samaria, he said, at this time of tomorrow, five flour will be sent for one shekel, and two measures of flour for one shekel. And verse 2, a man or a, 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 one of the king's uh, men, he said, how can this happen? Just now, they said an ass of egg was sold for 80 pieces of silver. He said, this man, you know what you are talking about. And the man of God said, because his brain cannot accept that blessing, because his head cannot accept the blessing. He cannot comprehend how it's going to happen. He cannot understand how it's going to happen. But the word has been spoken to, his, to the life. And the man of God said, Okay, you said it. Okay, because you have said it, it will happen, you will be part of it. By 2 Kings chapter 7, verse 20, when the same thing was back 18 to 20, when a flower a flower was selling for a shekel and took a body for two, and two million body for a shekel. The man was trampled upon at the gate. I wanted to cry to God. I said, Father, my Father, my Father, ah, I will not doubt the word of God in Jesus' name. I will not doubt the performance of the word of God in my life so that I can be a recipient of the manifestation of the word of God. I will not doubt the, I will not doubt the word of God upon my life so that I can be a recipient of the manifestation of the, my presence. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Brethren, we are going to pray. Because brain is always thinking about how things will be done. Heart is always gratitude, rejoicing, celebrating, and receiving the things that will come. And that's why we have to pray today. That's why we're going to call on God for his mercy. Because the Bible made us to realize. He said in Psalm 16, in Psalm 27, verse 3, Psalm 27, verse 3, and verse 4, 27 verse 3. He said, God, he said, fear come into the heart after it was passed from the brain. Now, in, in Psalm 3 verse 11, he said, God, he said, God will strengthen your heart to make you strong. God, when your heart is strong, is strengthened, you can receive from the Lord. It doesn't matter the it is your, it is your, it is your heart. For it's your heart. When your heart receives a positive message from your, your brain, if you receive the word of God from your brain and you hold on to the word of God, there will be a performance. There will be a performance. And that is why today we have to talk to, we have to pray. And we are going to pray. In that second Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4, second Corinthians chapter 4, he said, casting down imagination. Many of us have stopped our blessing. So many of us have withhold our blessing by demonic imagination. Can this really happen? You are going to cry about Second Corinthians chapter ten verse one. He said, "He said, for when we are not carnal, but mighty God through the pulling down of the stronghold, casting that imagination." You are going to cry to God. Say, Father, every demonic imagination that is withholding my possession, Father, as it is written in your word, in 
In 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4, I pull down every stronghold, every imagination that is exalting itself against the knowledge of God in my life. I pull them down in Jesus' name. I pull them down in Jesus' name. I pull them down in Jesus' name. Ah, every malibro sutala, every imagination, every demonic imagination that is exalting itself than the word of God, that is making his word more than powerful than the word of God. Today I cast them down in the name of Jesus. I cast them down. They will not stop our possession. They will not delay our possession. They will not withhold our possession. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. The word of God said, He said, How now? He now said, How can what can we do to ensure? What can we do to ensure now that, that we will not we have a positive, a productive act? Number one thing we are going to do, and we're going to pray in Psalm 108, verse 1. Psalm 108, verse 1. He said, then he said, my heart is fixed, O Lord. I will praise God all the time. When you praise God all the time, there is no way you can be thinking evil. You, you, you can't be thinking. So you are going to cry to God. Say, Father, help me to praise you at all times. Father, help me to praise you at all times. Help me to celebrate you at all times. Help me, Lord, to praise you at all times. In the name of Jesus. Brethren, we want to ask God to renew our mind. Brethren, many of us have bad thoughts. Number two thing to do is that go to renew your mind. That second, that Roman 12 precept, God should renew our mind with the word of God. Brethren, it is not it, it doesn't matter what the economy is saying. It's the word of God you will hold on to. It does not matter what the environment is saying. It is the word of God you will hold on to. When you allow your brain to stick to the what the economy is saying, you are stopping the hand of God from fulfilling it. Your, from bringing that, manifesting your miracle. When you begin to think about how this world will, will, be, will be manifested, will come to pass, you are, you, that mind is standing as a stumbling block to the manifestation. And that's why I wanted to pray today. And say, Father, help me every day to load my heart with the word of God. Help me every day to meditate upon the word of God, to hold on to the promises of God for the manifestation, for the fulfillment of my position. In the name of Jesus, say pra tu sagada, say pra tu liga, adaliga tu segede. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Brethren, let me, let us, as we are praying, God remind me of a testimony. We are having a service one day. In an early communion service, and a, a reporter came, a journalist came to me. A journalist came, and a reporter, she just started, not quite long. And the word of God came in as the only communion was going on. The word of God came as the only communion was coming on. The word of God said to him, to her, he said, There is somebody here that there is somebody here that at this time of next week, you will be made an head of the department. She said, Amen. She held on to the word of God. And by the week truly, she became an end of the life. From nowhere. So I wanted to cry to God. Say, Father, help me to believe your word. Help me to believe in your word. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us to believe in your word. Help us to hold on to the word. The word in season. So that we can possess our possession. Help us to hold on to your word. So that we can possess our possession. Say, bra to say, gedos kadaga. talaba. In Jesus' name we pray. I want us to cry to God. We have to renew our mind. And we say we have to renew our mind and to be able to, be able to have productive thinking. We must focus on the promises of God. We must focus on the promises of God. Many of us are troubled now. Are worried. John chapter 14 verse 1. Say, let not your heart be troubled. John chapter 14 Say, let not your heart. I want to talk to you. Say, Father, for I stand upon the word of God. You, my heart, you cannot be troubled again. You, my heart, you are not going to be troubled. I refuse to be troubled. You, my heart, in Jesus' name, I refuse to be troubled by situation, by circumstance around me. In the name of Jesus, I refuse to be troubled. I refuse to be troubled. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to cry to God. I want you to cry to God. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I will not rationalize your blessing for my life again. I will never rationalize my, your blessing for my life. That's 
That's my confession you have for me. I will not rationalize it. Father, help me to believe your word for the manifestation of my position. I refuse to begin to rationalize, to begin to think about my blessing, to begin to think how you are going to do it. I refuse to do it, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, shame brought to Segede, Elida to Gada 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 Legede Eleku. In Jesus' name we pray. Brethren, when, a, when an ass is sorrowful, when a heart is worried, it is difficult to receive the blessing. When the heart is troubled, when the heart is sorrowful, it is difficult to receive the blessing. We are going to pray for everyone that has a pain in their heart. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord said there are some people that have a heart problem. Heart problem. As I was praying, God told me, he said some people have heart problem. High blood pressure, heart attack, heart failure. I pray for you, the healing power of God will come upon your heart in Jesus' name. The healing power of God will come upon your heart in Jesus' name. The healing power will come upon your heart in Jesus' name. And all those to pray for those of us who have been off, badly off. I want you to cry to God based on Psalm 141, verse 4. Verse 144, <coughs> Psalm, 1, Psalm 141, verse 4. Say, Father, please heal my heart, heal my broken heart, oh Lord, heal my heart, Lord, heal my heart of every pain, of every heart. Father, heal my heart of every pain, of every heart. Father, heal our heart of every pain, of every heart. In the name of Jesus. Heal our heart, of every pain, of every heart in Jesus' name. Heal our heart, Lord, of every pain. Of in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Brethren, we want to pray. We are still to pray. If the word of God has come, COVID-19 or no COVID-19, we are going to possess our possession. I want you to cry to God. Say, Father, anything in my life that is standing against my believing the word of God, anything that has come, that come to stronghold in my life, that is making me to doubt the efficacy of the word of God, Father, let them be pulled down in Jesus' name. Anything in our life, O oh Lord, that is making us to doubt the potency of the word of God, that is making us to doubt the performance of the word of God, Father, let them be put down in Jesus' name. Father, let them be put down in Jesus' name. Let them be put down in Jesus' name. Let them be put down in Jesus' name. Let them be put down in the name of Jesus. Brethren, one of the things that this season is going to do for you as children of God is to create a new great people. A great, a new great businessman, a new, a new, a new professional, top MDs that are believers. That's what it's going to do. It's going to happen. That's what's going to happen in Jesus' name. I want you to believe you. I want you to cry to God. The first time the family happened. The second time the family happened. The day of Isaac. He created Isaac. He brought an Isaac out as a great man. I like you to cry. I say, Father, in the name of this season, let it bring about my greatness. Ah, my father, I don't want to think how you are going to be. Father, let this coronavirus, let this go, let it bring out the greatest part of my life. Let this coronavirus, let it be the greatest part of my life. Let it be greatness out of me. Let it be great eyes out of me. In the name, let it be greatness out of me. Greatness in my business. Let it bring out my best in Jesus' name. Let it be my bring out my best. Let it bring our best in the name of Jesus. Let it bring our best. Saliba to say in Jesus' name we pray. That assistant of King of Samaria that missed the blessing because they did not believe. Those are people who say, those are the things they said that somebody, by the time they, somebody's miracle came, he was, he was no more there to be found. He's dead. How want you to cry to him. Say, Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, I will not miss my blessing. I will be alive to celebrate in my possession. Ah, my father, my father. Oh, I pray, oh Lord, in the name of everyone that is sound on my voice today, they will receive their blessing. They will not die before their blessing manifests. Ah, Father, they will not die before their blessing manifests. They will not die before their miracle manifests. In the name of Jesus, they will not be like that assistant, the king assistant in Samaria, who did not believe, and when the plenty come, it was not there. Say, Father, I will enjoy the abundance. I will be part of the abundance. Abundance will not elude me. Ah, that will not make me to miss the abundance. Father, I will be part of the abundance. We will be part of the blessing. We will be part of the prosperity. Fear, 
Thou will not deny us of this benefit. In the name of Jesus. Sheda liba tuskelege. Zebra tu kada sadaliga. Eluta liga atalege. Elekuta laba. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. We are still going to pray. Because every time, as I said to you, every time there's an opportunity of this nature, COVID-19 is a new great people being released into the, into the world. New great businessmen, new great professional, new people that will serve God, that will use their equipment to serve God, is gotten. I want you to cry to God. The skill of Joseph was not recognized internationally until there was a famine in the land of Egypt. The skill I don't care whether you think you don't know anything, whether you're stupid. Joseph's skill of dream interpretation was not recognized on the family in the entire world in Egypt. I want to cry to God. I say, Father, that skill you are giving to me. Ah, Father, let it be recognized now. Let my skill be recognized now. That skill, oh Lord, problem solving. That skill of that skill of problem solving. That skill of information system. That skill, oh Lord, of perfection. Let it be recognized and know and rewarded. In, let it be recognized and rewarded in this season. Let it be recognized and rewarded in this season. Zebra to segede, zebrida kuliba to selebo, elita katolika. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We are going to pray. The Lord said to me as I was praying. There is somebody here. He said, There is somebody. Every time a great blessing is coming towards you, there is a spiritual robber that always comes to steal it. There is a spiritual robber always coming to steal it. You are going to cry to God. Ah, there is a spiritual robber that always comes. And it is rooted in the word of God. Matthew 13 25. When men's the enemy came to sow tears, ah, you are going to cry to God. Say, My father, my father. My Savior, my Savior, every, every spiritual arm robber that always comes in the night to steal our protection, to steal our breakthrough, in the name of Jesus, be exposed, be roasted by fire. Every spiritual arm robber, every spiritual arm robber that always steal whatever belongs to us, everything coming to steal our miracle in the night. Let the fire of the Lord consume those spiritual arm robber. In the name of God, and God of in the name of Jesus, every spiritual arm robber that always appear when the breakthrough is coming to steal somebody's breakthrough, to steal somebody's blessing. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we decree today, you spiritual arm robber, you are arrested by the Holy Ghost fire, and you are arrested by the Holy Ghost fire, you are arrested by the Holy Ghost fire, you are consumed by the Holy Ghost fire. In the name of Jesus, Shakata Lakataka, Heli Katu Salama, in Jesus' name we pray. There are some people that we want to pray for now before we continue. Hmm. That we want to pray for. You are here under the sound of my voice. You are a woman. Every time you have noticed a pattern that every time a big breakthrough is coming your way, one person will come and split between the two. And as soon as this thing happens, the hand comes. And the same thing, you are a man. Anytime a big breakthrough is coming towards your way, there's a spiritual way that comes and sleeps with you. The moment you ejaculate, the things, the breakthrough and begin to disappear. The word of God has given us power. In Revelation 12, 11, he said we overcome by God and the word of our testimony. So I want you to pray. Say, Father, everything I have lost, two spiritual arm robbers, spiritual wife, spiritual husband, Today, in the name of Jesus, by the blood of I recover back. I recover, it is written, the name of Jesus is a strong tower. And the writer of the they are saying, He said, that by the blood of Jesus, we will overcome. Everything this your sons and daughters, they have lost by the reason of spiritual activity, woman, spiritual activity. Today, by the Lord, we will recover back for them. It will recover back to them in Jesus' name. I will recover back to them in Jesus' name. Shebra to sekete, eli kata kata. In Jesus' name we pray. There is somebody here, the Lord said to me, he said, you had a dream whereby you went to a, as if you are going to a notice board and you are looking for your name, you couldn't find your name. That is not a good dream. That's a, that's a dream to say enemies about to steal something. Are you 
You are going to cast. That's the thing to say. Enemy is about to seize top of the earth. Told him something. You are going to cast. Say, Father. And he said, I want you to pray. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come every demoniness where my name is not appear. Say, I tear it off. Say, Father, every list, oh Lord, every demoniness where my name is missing. I tear it now in Jesus' name. And I have the Holy Spirit to prepare a new list where my name is inclusive. Oh, yeah, cry to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, every demonic list where your people's name have appeared and the people's name are not are missing there. Holy Spirit of God, we tear that demonic list and we ask you to prepare a new list where their names will be there. Number one, you will not miss your possession. You will not miss your blessing. You will not miss your breakthrough. You will not miss your belonging. You will not miss what the location. In the name of Jesus, Malida Kudali Kasada, Zebrotu Segede, Zebratu Kalaba, Atali Kesegede. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord is giving up the word. Thank you, Jesus. Now, you are here. This, you are under the sound of my voice this evening. Now, you have a peculiar dream. Maybe God will help us. You have a peculiar dream that normally comes to you. And in this dream, what do you normally see? When you have this particular dream, what you see in that dream is that you just notice that every time you are about, something is about to get to you. If you are about to, if they are disappointing something, when you get to your turn, the thing finishes. That's a near miracle. That's a failure at the end of breakthrough. Oh, you are going to cry to God. Say, Father, today in the name of your every spiritual and robber of failure at the end of breakthrough, today in the name of Jesus, be roasted, be arrested, and be roasted by the Holy Ghost for just Every spiritual and robber of failure at the end of breakthrough or near miss, be arrested, and be roasted by the Holy Ghost for be arrested and we don't know what to In the name of your Zebra to Segede, Zebra to Kutalaba, Zebra to Kotoko, Zebra to Kalaba, Atali Kada. In Jesus' name we pray. There are some of us, our blessings are being released to us. But certain things are holding it. You are going to cry to God. You are going to cry to God. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, every of my release breakthrough, every of my release blessing, that is angry. Father, let there be released. Let there be released in Jesus' name. Let there be released. Sataya da dege dege. She dege dege dege. Ele ke dege. Ze dege dege dege. Re ge dege dege. Je ri da kuda ga. Ze bra toko. Za bra kada. Ze bre toko. Sha da kada. Ze bra tu se ge de. Le tu ka la kuda ata le ke. Ze bra toko. Ze ke te ke. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I've always forgotten this. Thank you. The Lord said there is somebody here. You just had a, a, a dream recently. You were driving a car. I don't know if that for sudden that car some that stop. Somebody stopped that car. Or, or somebody or you are driving a car. The car has a flat tire. And by the time you wake up, you start the flat the car will not go again. That's an attack on your progress of your life. Every time you have that, is an attack on the progress of it's be an attack on your business, an attack on your career. You are going to pray this way. Say, Holy Spirit of God. Say, Holy Spirit of God. Holy Spirit of God. Please give my back of life. Give my back of life speed. Holy Spirit of God. Holy Spirit of God. Begin to drive my vehicle. Begin to drive my vehicle. Repair that vehicle. Holy Spirit, repair that damaged vehicle. And let it begin to move now. Holy Spirit of God, repair that, that vehicle. And let it be moving there, Jesus. Name. Every, every truncated progress will come out acceleration like Jesus. Name. Every truncated progress, we say go forward. We say march forward. In the name of Jesus. Shebra tu kalege. Shebra tu kalaba. In Jesus' name we pray. You are worthy, worthy. You are worthy, worthy. You are worthy, worthy. Mighty God. You are worthy, worthy. You are worthy, worthy. You are worthy, worthy. El Shaddai, you are worthy. You are worthy, worthy. You are worthy, worthy. You are worthy, worthy. You are worthy, worthy. Mighty God. You are worthy, worthy. You are worthy, worthy. You are worthy, worthy. Mighty God, you are worthy, you are worthy, worthy, you are worthy, worthy, you are worthy, worthy, mighty God, you are worthy, worthy, you are worthy, worthy, you are worthy, worthy, 
Father, I want you to pray. Say, Father, you are a worthy God. Father, decorate my life. Decorate my life with possession. Decorate my life with possession. Decorate my life with miracles. Decorate my life. Decorate my life with my possession. Shake attackada. Decorate our life with worthy things, with valuable things, with glorious things. Malibro se teke, zebre teke teke, zebra gadaga, zebra gadaga, zebro godogo, zeka lege lege, re lege sundaraba, ita kuni masege de, zege lege lege, re toliga sadaraba. Thank you, Jesus. There's somebody here. There's a breath pain that suddenly comes. There's a pain in your breast. You don't have the cancer. That's a lie from the devil. When the devil speaks to your brain that that's a cancer, it's not a cancer. I command the healing power of God upon that breast pain in Jesus' name. I command the healing power of God upon your breast pain in Jesus' name. I say, breast pain, go in the name of Jesus. Breast pain, go in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, King of Kings. Lord, we thank you. We bless your name. Hallelujah. Oh, in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to cry to God. Say, Father, my Father, my Father, my Savior, my Savior, from this season, help me to focus on your promise that will be the head and not the tail. Ah, Father, help me to focus on promise that will be a lender and not be a borrower. Help me to focus on your promise that whatever I lay my hand, I will prosper. Help me to focus on your work that even in the midst of famine, I will eat in plenty. Father, have mercy. Have mercy. Help me, Lord. Strengthen me, O Lord, to read your word and focus on your promises that will be the head and not the tail. That whatever I name my hand, I will prosper. That in the midst of family, in the midst of tragedy, I will be, I will satisfy. Father, help us to believe your word, to hold on to your word. In the name of Jesus, zebra to kasagada, zebra to kotoko, jeli atuka laga, ata leke deke. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we want to thank you. Oh Lord, we bless your name. We give you all the glory. We worship you, our God. You are worthy to be praised. We give you all. We give you Die. My 
my career will not die. My home will not die. You will not die. You will not die. Every spirit of mentality there. Back to sender. We rebuke that spirit. We will not die. We will live to declare the word of God in the land of the living. In Jesus' name we pray. Brethren, there is a power of productive thinking. The power of productive thinking delivers results. The power of God delivers the promise of God for a man. The power of God delivers the promise of God for a man. Brethren, I want you to begin to speak the word of God to your life. There is somebody here, there is a woman here, God said I should tell you. They say, oh, these men are not responsible. It is because you believe it. It is because your brain accepts it. That is not your person. If you're a single sister, you want to marry, and you want to marry a great man, a good man, you will speak to yourself, you will let it pass your heart, and you, and you admit it, you will begin to speak it. And you will cry to God. Say, my father, my father, my father, my father, from this city, I refuse the enemy's war concerning my life. I engage in productive thinking that will release my blessing, that will release my possession. I refuse the number of the enemy. I receive the promises of the enemy. I receive the life, I reject the life of the enemy. I reject the life of the enemy. I reject the life of the enemy. I reject the thought the enemy is given to me. I'm not a failure. I am a success. I am not a failure. I am a success. I am not a failure. I am a success. In the name of Jesus, say, I am whole. I am healed. I am not sick. I am whole. I am sick. My business will prosper. My career will prosper. I receive it. I believe it. In the name of Jesus. I know the thought God thinks towards me. They are thought of peace, not of evil. So give me an expected end. This coronavirus, it will give me an expected end of abundance, of greatness, of joy, of plenty. In the name of Jesus. I want you to take this prophetic statement. What? Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. I believe you, Jesus Christ. You are the Son of God. You came into this world to die for my sin. And you die so that you die poor so that I can be rich. Because of that, I will be rich. I will succeed. I will be rich. I will succeed. I will prosper. I will not fail. Because you are carrying my shame, you are carrying my failure, you are carrying my poverty, I cannot be poor. I refuse to be poor. I will not be poor. I refuse to be poor. My business will not go down because of coronavirus. It is an abomination. Because the word of God says, whatever I name hand, I will prosper. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare, I am the head, I am not the tail. I decree and I declare, I will, the Lord will restore back to me. Everything I have lost in this COVID-19, it will restore in multiple fold. It will restore in multiple fold. I don't want to think how about it is going to restore it. I don't want to know what the economy is saying, but I know, I believe his war. He will restore, he will restore, he will restore all the year of love, the locusts are eating, the caterpillar and caramel. He will restore to me, Jesus name. I believe the word of God. I don't believe the report of CNN. I believe the word of God. I don't believe the economy they killed off. He will make a way for me. When there is no way, I will excel. I will succeed in the name of Jesus. Every promise of God for my life in 2020, I receive the fullness of it. I receive the fullness of it. No, 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 no. Every promise of God, every prophecy of God for 2020 concerning me, concerning you, it will manifest. It will not be transferred to next year. No, 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 no. The word of God, the promise of God for our life, for we will manifest. We receive it this year. We receive it. Every plan of God, every promise of God for year 2020 in our life, we receive it. We receive it. We receive it. We receive it. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Just two more prayer while we land up. In the month of June is the month of divine visitation and goodness. It's the month of divine visitation and goodness. And June and, and Luke chapter 1. Verse 26 to 31. Luke chapter 1, 26 to 31. It says, Angel Gabriel, he was sent to the family, to the house of Virgin Mary. Just only one virgin. 
There are many virgins in the land, but only Virgin Mary that he was sent to in the land of Nazareth, in the land of Israel. You are going to cry to God, say, My Father, my Father, in this month, send my angel of blessing. Send the angel, my angel to me, that locates me, to me, Bamidele Abraham Hussein. Send your angel, my angel that will bring my blessing, my angel of blessing, my angel that will bring my packet. Send it to me, to me, to me, Bamidele Abraham Hussein. This month, in the name of Jesus, this month, said my father, this month is my month of good news. It's a month of good news. I will see angelic visitation. I will see divine packet. I will see glorious packet in the name of Jesus. Say my packet will not be truncated on the way. My packet will not be stored on the way. My divine packet, my good news will not come to vanish. Say my good news will not come to vanish in the name of Jesus. My good news will not come to vanish. My possession, I possess it. In the name of Jesus, my packet, I receive the fullness of it. My packet, my glorious packet, we receive it, we receive it in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Very quickly, you are here, you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And you are praying that we should receive the blessing. The enemy, the arm robber, will come and take it. Because you know you don't deserve it. So you want to give your life to Jesus, say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I boldly confess you as my Lord and Savior. I say I'm, I, com I, I confess that my sins are washed away by the blood of Jesus. And I'm justified by the blood of the Lamb. I'm sanctified by the blood of the Lamb. I am now born again, the child of God, in Jesus' name. If you pray that simple prayer, please, after this service, there's a number on the screen. Please kindly call us, contact us, wherever you For as a newborn baby in Christ, there's a special gift for you. We would like to give you that gift. The rest of us, I want you to cry to God. Say, my God, say, my Father, my Father, my Savior, my Savior. Ah, this week is going to end tomorrow. That the package meant for this week, let me receive it in Jesus' name. My good news for this week, let me receive it, O oh Lord. This week is ending tomorrow or Saturday. Every packet that's meant for your people, release it to them, God. The good news packet. Let them receive it in Jesus' name. Let them receive it in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's take our offering. Father, we want to thank you, Lord, for your children. Thank you for what you have done for us today. Lord, I ask you, Lord, every prayer we are praying today, please answer by fire in Jesus' name. Lord, we commit our offering to you, Lord. Please accept it from us. Let it be propagated on the gospel. Those who have paid the tenth of their hand, or pay the tenth of their hand, open the windows of heaven to them. Bless them. Give them more opportunity. Give in this season. Create new opportunity for them. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Brethren, before I close, before we close, I want you to pray. I want you to pray. Say, my father, my father. Every blessing I receive tonight. I call them the blood of Jesus. Every breakthrough I cover them with the blood of Jesus. In them, every breakthrough your people have received, I cover them with the blood, cover them with the blood of Jesus. Every of their testimony, they are covered with the blood of Jesus. Every of their healing, they are covered with the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. My Father, I pray for your people. Are all every online viewers, every online viewer that will partake of this blessing, I declare and declare to you, your blessing is permanent. Your miracle is permanent. You are covered with the blood of Jesus. You are so with the blood of Jesus. Nothing will tamper with your blessing. That blessing will not be taken away. That miracle will not be taken away. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit of God, and we love them. Tonight you will visit them. You will give them a good news. Tonight you will visit them. You will give them a good news. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. I want to thank God for your life for living to this telecast. We are coming to the end of the telecast. Today, Thursday prayer meeting. If you have been blessed by this telecast, I'd like you to go to our Jesus House YouTube, Jesus House Kampala YouTube channel. I want to subscribe to the channel. Please like the channel. Share the channel. If you have been blessed. And share with somebody. I want you to also go to our Facebook page, Houses Jesus House YouTube page. Follow us on our page. Like on our page. Share the page with people and comment. As you are commenting on the page, you are agreeing on the prayer we are praying, and then you will receive the blessing in the name of Jesus. And I pray that may the Lord keep you, may the Lord bless you, may the Lord cause face to shine upon you, may the Lord lift his candle upon you. 
May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Every miracle that we see today, it is permanent in Jesus' name. There shall be testimony in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Sunday is going to be a great time in His presence. Sunday service is going to be a special service. We are still continuing our series, Tears of Greatness. And um, we are going to be having a third service now at 12. At first service now at 9, second at 9.50 and 12.30. The 12.30 service will be prayer and prophetic prophetic service. I'd like you to join us. And Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Lord God's face to lie upon you. Till I see you on Sunday, Lord bless you. Lord keep you. Lord God's face to shine upon you. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Good evening and God bless you.